Tonight, I am looking for giant harvestmen. Now, from what I've observed in the past, these live in sort of riparian areas. I'm not entirely sure why. And I believe these to be genus Laronicus, though I don't know what the species is. And they should be the largest apilions, which is the order they're part of, taxonomically. The largest apilions we have in California. So let's see if I can find any. I've only ever found like a couple here, but I should be able to find them again. So I'm in a grove right now, you know, by uh, a dried up creek. And they're a bit tough to spot because there's so many sticks on the ground and they're so thin. And oftentimes they're not moving, but um, they should be on a search for, you know, prey and whatnot. So there's a good chance I will see some moving. First bug spotted. A little Jerusalem cricket down here. Quite common in this area. And yes, I do not know the species on this one. It's likely undescribed. Hopefully that changes sometime soon. This is possibly the largest harvestman I've ever seen. Right here. Let's see if I can get it on my hand. I've actually managed to get the harvest man. Here it is. Like I said, this is the largest one I've ever seen. Quite an impressive size. And uh, despite being extremely lanky and actually quite fragile, these actually have been observed taking down lizards, which I find quite cool. These guys are set apart from spiders because they only have one body segment. Last look at this thing before uh, I will put it back. Here. You can see that there's a crayfish down there. Let's see if I can catch it. Got it. Ow. Well, yeah, they certainly do pinch, as expected. And this seems to be a Louisiana red crayfish. Procambrous, I believe, possibly. I may be wrong. They get much more red as they grow and become adults. Um, there's a second species of crayfish in here, too. I believe all the native ones have been eradicated. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and release these because even though it's invasive, there's not much I can do about that. Uh, the population is well established. No point in killing this one. Here's another one of these giant harvestmen. Looks like it was going for a drink. And it's damaged like they often are. So I'll let this one be. If you're curious about what a normal harvestman looks like, this is Mitopus morio, the more common species out here. And it's only about this big. And that's about max size. They get a bit larger, but this is a more common species. A dwarf compared to the other one. Another one of these big harvestmen, possibly grabbing a drink. This one isn't as large as the other ones, but show you my finger for scale. And as soon as I bother it, it won't be flat anymore. It thinks it's still uh, camouflaged or something. And there it goes. There's also a crayfish hanging out over there. You can see it moving, going down a hole, burrowing, perhaps. Same species of giant harvestman, but this one is just a juvenile. Look at this behemoth. This thing was just sitting here. This is even larger than the other one I saw previously. Wow, I didn't think they'd get much larger than this. Well, here, come here. That is impressive. 
very cool. Makes it a little more obvious, not really, why they are able to, there's another small one right there, why they're able to take down larger prey. That is a seriously impressive harvestman. I've never seen one that large, and I never thought I would. That's crazy. Here it is again. Just walking around, a little crayfish right there. See if I can get it back on my hand. This one has a bit of a tough time actually staying on my hand. Bad grip or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it just keeps falling. It's also missing a uh, pedipalp. Not sure if you noticed that. But right down there, you only see one pedipalp. I'm going to release this one right now. Hopefully it does well, even despite the fact that it has a missing pedipalp. This is the second species of crayfish out here. This is a Northern Pacific signal crayfish. And I'm not quite sure why they come up in the shallows like this sometimes. But you can tell they're very distinct from the Louisiana red crayfish. It's a very different animal. And the coolest thing about these is uh, the undersides of these pedipalps, the pincers, are blue and red. And this one is a bit dull. Sometimes they look much brighter than this. And these originate out of Washington, the Oregon area. They're actually invasive here. I'm gonna let this guy go back in the shallows. Wants to act all defensive. Come on. Go. I guess these are arboreal too. This one's hanging up in a tree. Pretty far off the ground too. And this one's missing, uh, oh, never mind. It was just folded in a weird way. A lot of the ones I've been finding tonight are uh, quite perfect. These are notorious for missing limbs, really. Well, I guess these are more arboreal than I'd pre previously thought because over here on this, tree which is the same tree actually this branch you can see actually a few more there's another one there and one down there too nice i've been walking for a bit and haven't seen any but here's a smaller harvestman near the water edge oh and there's a little crayfish in there i don't know if you can see that but yeah, I'll continue searching to see if I can find another giant Tidiotis spider down here. Tidiotis californicus. Sometimes when you hit these with a, a light in the right angle, they're iridescent, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I have achieved that here. Here is yet another one. I didn't think they'd be so common either, but apparently they are. And this one is just chilling up on a branch. Wish this would focus better. Well, that'll be all for this video. So, thank you for watching.